Good morning. I am the mainly digger. Yesterday was Father's Day. I had to work, but I came home and amazing dinner that my wife cooked. Thank you to my wife and children. It was a great Father's Day. What I'm doing now is reviewing the gift that I, I got for Father's Day, which is an underwater handheld pinpointer metal detector or a, a scuba. It's, you can call it whatever it is. I'll show you it. It is amazing. I'm so excited to go out today and use it. But first I'm gonna review it and then I'm going to do some tests because that's what I do. I like seeing how things work, the depths, and it won't be in water, it'll be out of water. But later on in when I, I'm using it to, to detect, I might do some tests there too. We'll see. You never know. All right, watch my video mainly. So I'm in my testing laboratory, the mainly digger testing laboratory, uh, which is my dining room, really. I just like this black table. Anyway, the uh, so I set this up. This is ghetto, but it works. A couple of my daughter's books, my pinpointer slash handheld detector, and all the things that I'm going to be testing on the this right here is the box for the detector i started off with a metal ruler and then i remembered this wood ruler that i kept for whatever reason i got it at a fair and uh that's like three years ago and i was like oh i got one so I, I i took it what i do need to remember is that this is my wedding ring and i need to put it back on when i'm done or my wife's gonna not be too happy the one of the important notes that came from the instructions there's two important notes that this detects in a cone or the field of detection comes out in a cone. So that's what I established here. It didn't say how far the depth of detection goes or how the depth of the cone goes, but it said that's it comes out in a cone shape. So that is what I'm showing here with this lovely bright pink pen. Anyway, so what it also said is that it's to de actual detect things that are deep, you need to move slowly. You need to sweep slowly across it. So like a Garrett or like my, like an AT Pro, the slower I sweep, the deeper I can detect. So that's my advice from the instructions. So now the test goes, oh, here, so we have 12 inches, six inches, and the ruler is there for anything less than, than an inch, which I don't think it'll go above six inches, which I could be wrong. We will see. So the pin pointer's already on. I just checked this, just checked it. So I'm gonna start off with this big token that I found and all this stuff besides my actual wedding ring is stuff that I've found. So I'm gonna put it right here. And it, it, as you can see, it's already blinking. It's kind of going off. So I'm slowly, there you go. So this, oh, and I forgot to mention, that line is two inches. I did my math. So over two inches, it's not, it's not really doing anything. Closer to two inches. I'm trying to do this right on there. It's not getting anything. Oh, but I move it. Not far away. There we go. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see if it's the setup that I have it on because it's, you know, underwater is different. When you do, when you use these, these tools in the conditions that they're meant to be, you're going to get different different thing so we'll just go okay and then I'll try this to make sure so right about there so if it's flat it's not going to show up oh maybe okay anyway it detects that's awesome so I'm going to mark that so I have my fluorescent pink marker I think it's my daughter's. So we're gonna go right about there. Okay. And 
I will check it later. So that, I don't know what the makeup of this coin is. I just, it's a cool coin I found. Anyway, I won't go over, I won't go over my, my finds. Anyway, so I have a gold ring. I know it's gold. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, Oh, well, I forgot what I called it. Anyway, we'll see. Let's check this out. So starting off six, it's not doing anything at six. Slow, going slow, going slow. So honestly, it's about the same distance for the token and the coin, and that's going slow. Uh, this is some foreign currency, a euro, I'll just call it a euro, it is a euro. So uh, and I don't know what the, the metal makeup of this is either. So about the same, right at a little over two, I'd say like two and a half inches, I'll measure it later. Now here, oh this may affect, do different things, because this is a wheat penny that I found, and plus I have staples, so let's try this out. So let's see, I'm not even gonna mark that, it's like an inch and a half, inch and inch, inch and a half. Now, uh, still dirt coming out of this, it's a, a cartridge that I found, you're gonna find these all over Maine. And it's still the same, same distance. Uh, this is a, I'm just calling it fake gold, I don't know I don't think it's actually gold. I've tested it and it's not, it doesn't come out correctly as gold or as gold would. Slowly, slowly. So that's interesting right there. Not real gold comes out right there. So I'll mark that later. I'll mark that now and check it later. So I have my wedding ring. I'm gonna do it now and then just put it on my finger because I'm the type of person that will forget this and leave it somewhere and then lose it and then my wife will not be happy with me. So here's my wedding ring. So right about there. Interesting. And that's gold too. This is silver, I tested it, it is, it is silver, it is sterling. It's an, either an old ring or an earring that broke. Anyway, it's silver. So we're gonna do, cause it's an odd, it's a longer piece. So right about there, and I wonder. So right about there, and I'm gonna mark that. So under two inches. And now I have this piece, which is the earring that or ring that was engraved with an A on it. And it's it's silver also. So we'll see. So I would say right about there, right about the same. So right about there, I'm just gonna call it the same. Now I'm gonna mark it and see where the marks, where they, they come out. 
So I didn't really get real precise on this. You don't really have to. Or you, I mean, I'm not going to go in depth and explain a quarter of an inch of an inch. I uh, So this is, I marked it out in inches. So one, two, three from the base of the, the box. Gold came right about the same, you know, right about the same. Silver came in, two pieces of silver came in at a less depth than anything else. The token came in, I don't really remember where the token came in, so that might have, might have been, that's my fault, I should have marked it after. Same with the shell. But, this is, this is the best represent, representation out of water that I can give. And uh, I'm gonna take it in the water and I'm gonna use it, mainly dig out. Good evening, I'm the Mainly Digger. And this part of the video is me going to Salmon Lake, to the part of the, the lake pond, Salmon Pond, Salmon Pond, that my family member lives on, and doing a little exploring. More than I, I normally have. It's a fairly shallow part. It's a cove, so it's it's not even. I'm about six feet tall on a good day, so it's about up to my neck. So not that deep, but it was fun. I had a good time. A lot really murky, um, really murky. But I found a couple good spots, a couple shallow spots to go metal detecting in, and a couple spots to go take the AT Pro in. But to, in this video, I was just testing out my my new handheld scuba detector, and it's awesome. I only I found one thing, and it's not. I mean, it's cool just because it's my first find, but it's it's not cool at all, really. Uh, it's not horrible, but it's not it's not great. All right, this is me testing out my my new handheld detector, and the second part of my video, mainly to get out. 